fight. Hold on, I don't like how, I don't like how my my lips went to the side when I said. Let me do let's do it again. YouTube fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real talk boxing. It's a privilege, an honor, and a blessing to be back at you guys again. I ain't gotta explain to y'all what I'm in here doing. The proofs and the pudding, right? Proofs and the pudding. Tyrone Woodley, Jake Paul face off. My thoughts on that. I have my opinion who won the face off. Who cares who wins the face off? Who gives a rats? But who wins the face off? It's all about the fight, right? In my opinion, Tyrone Woodley won the face off, but that means nothing. But it tells me a lot. And I'm gonna explain that to you. Um, before I start explaining that to you, what was up with that? Gucci Mickey Mouse purse that your boy Jake had on, man. That your boy Jake had on. Like, I, I we don't, I'm from Texas. We don't, men do not wear purses. Satchels, a merce, whatever you want to call it, we don't wear them. And if I was Tyrone, I'd be like, look, we ain't doing a face off until you take that purse off. It's either a briefcase or a backpack, homie. We can't do a face-off with you wearing a purse. I, I can't do that. I don't, what was up with that? Anyway, whatever. Had to get that off my chest. Listen, it, this face-off told me a whole lot. This face-off leads me to believe that Tyrone Woodley is really going to put in some work. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Y'all, all his other opponents said that too. But you have to understand, Jake Paul's other opponents weren't the caliber of this man right here, Tyrone Woodley. <laughs> he says some slick things. You know, Jake comes in, you know, dancing, doing his antics. You lost your last four. You're 40 years old. And Willie's like, so what? I'm still going to knock you out, bro. I'm still going to knock you out. No B-I-T-C-H out. Okay? We need a B-I-T-C-H out clause. Okay? So this dude won't pull out the fight once he sees me grinding and working. Because once you see that, Jake, you're going to turn B-I-T-C-H. And then that's when, that's when the tables turn. That's when, that's when the, it, the, the face off shifted. Cause time when somebody get in front of your face like this and they put their hands in front of you like this, they mean business. Now I know that doesn't say much, but real recognize is real. And I, and I feel like Jake's recognized that. You want to know why? Cause a lot of y'all are eating me up. So what real talk? So what he said what he said. So what? He crossed his hands in front of him and got in his face. So what? Now, before y'all start jumping all down my throat, there was a second face-off outside. See, a lot of y'all didn't even notice this. There was a show of respect from Jake Paul. Okay? I'm getting ahead of myself. Before I get into that, I want to say this. Tyrone Woodley is not looking at Jake Paul like he's a Disney star or a famous YouTuber. Tyrone said something very important that all his other opponents weren't saying. He's a fighter. I don't care how, you know, I don't care if he's got three fights under his belt, four fights under his belt. He's a fighter. I'm not looking at him as a YouTuber or a Disney star. He's a fighter. And I'm knocking him out. See, everybody else was all, oh, he's a YouTuber. He ain't no fighter. Tyrone Woodley says something very, very, very important. Hey, this dude's a fighter. I'm just saying. And that's him giving him his props. But he said, make no mistake about it, he getting cracked, he getting knocked out. Point blank, period. Now let's get to the face-off outside, if you guys didn't see it. They faced off again. Jake said something to Tyrone. Tyrone started laughing. And then Jake did this. Patted him on the shoulder. That's a show of respect, whether you understand that or not. I was a fighter. I'm still a fighter at heart. I know what that means in a face-off. When you do stuff like that. Now, I always showed respect before any of my fights. Like my slogan, respect all, fear none. But I didn't fear that dude. And just because I respect you, don't mean I ain't going to try to wipe your nose when we get in that ring. And Jake's going to be trying to do that. But here's one more thing. Floyd Mayweather Jr. says, I want Tyrone Woodley. We need to get him to Vegas, and I want to train him for this fight. Now, I don't know if it's official. But if Tyrone Woodley's smart, he'd take Floyd Mayweather up on that offer. Because not only would he be working with Floyd Mayweather Jr., 
Senior will be in there too. Man, that's a lot of info. That's a lot of defensive tools he can add to his arsenal should he do that. So Tyron Woodley do that. Because Mayweather don't want to see Tyron Woodley lose to what Mayweather says a YouTuber. But Tyron says differently. He's a fighter. Take Floyd Mayweather up on his offer, Mr. Woodley. You cannot go wrong. Seems to me Tyron Woodley means business. But didn't his other opponents mean business? I don't know about Ben Askren. He didn't even want to spar full out. He didn't even want to go 100 in sparring. I mean, Nate Robinson, he couldn't fight. He couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. Gibb, Digi, they cannot stand up to Tyron Woodley. He's, in a, he's on another level. He's, he's in another stratosphere, ionosphere. He's, he's, he's not even in the same universe as those other fighters that Paul's face. But he is 40 years old. 39, 40, whatever, rounded off. And he did lose his last four. But to who? What caliber of fighters? Definitely like not Jake Paul. Definitely not Jake Paul. So read between the lines. I think Tyron Willie is going to get ready. And I think Tyron Willie is going to test Jake Paul. And there's always, excuse me, there is a rematch clause in there too. And that's on Jake's side. Why does he want the rematch clause? There's a possibility that he's going to get his lunch money took. Possibility. That's not factual. But he didn't want to rematch clause with any of his other opponents. But this guy right here, right here, Tyrone Woodley, he wants a rematch clause. I think Tyrone means business. And if Tyrone loses, does it matter? I think it's going to be Jake Paul's toughest fight ever. I think he's going to face some adversity. This fight is when we are going to see if Paul has heart or not. You got to be pushed to the limits. You have to be scared a little bit because fear is your friend. If you're scared, it's going to push you to your limit. It's going to take you places you ain't never been before. It's going to take you places that you ain't comfortable going. I've been scared in the ring and it took me there to the pinnacle. I'm going to swim or sink. I'm scared. This dude cracking me, hitting me to the body, prodded and broke my rib, wiped my nose. He's going to take my lunch money. I'm scared. But that fear, you got to grab hold of it and let it take you to another freaking planet, man. And we're going to see what kind of heart Jake got in this fight against Tyrone Woodley. Tyrone, you better come correct. Don't sleep on this young kid. And I know you're not. Go see Mayweather, brother. Go to Vegas and train if you got any kind of common sense. That's my take on it. Never mind that I don't want to know yours. Comment down below. Let your boy real talk know. As always, respect all. Fear none. God bless. I still got some more work to do, baby. Peace.